back to Living 808. Everyone loves poke, and since it's Aloha Friday, we've invited Rise Poke Shack on the show. Ryan and Connie Ching are the co-owners, and they join us now. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks for Thank having you. us, guys. It's not just an excuse to be able to eat some poke today on Aloha Friday. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, yeah. Um, I noticed that it's Rise Poke Shack. I'm assuming that's because it's, your name is Ryan. No, it's actually for our kids. Ooh, that's cool, yeah. because I was going to say, what about yeah. your wife? Connie's she actually poke shack. named the uh, shack and named our kids, too, yeah. So she named everything. Oh, so yeah. she's in charge. Like, yeah. Should I talk to her first? Or? She, she's pretty much the one running the show, actually. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's find out about the show real yeah. quick. How did the business start? I think uh, we always want to start something like this for the longest time. I think we had, like, every every local family, we were working, like, two to three jobs just to keep up. Yeah. So we had, we're in the restaurant business, I think, for combined, like, 30 years together. And then... Um, I guess during the pandemic, that was the time for us to get more creative. And then we started something. It's, the true story is actually we we're trying to do like churros. So. Don't lie to me now. Just yeah, tell, not, tell not, me the true yeah, story. Not, the, the, <laughs> one, the, one of the first things we we're going to do was churros. But that was actually because I told people, told my family um, and other people like, you know, about poke. And actually everyone was, I, I, we had a lot of like doubters and I mm. took that to heart. So I guess the moral of the story is to just go with your feeling. Because in the end, we did poke, and it came out really good. But I guess God gave me that vision, and then no one could see the vision except for myself. You That's know? So great. I went through that thing. And, That's awesome. Yeah. Although, I got to say, churros would have been a hit, too. Because the, really, the best place you can get them now is Disneyland, and that's hard for us. That's what I was looking at, yeah. Right? Yeah. But po poke, okay, so, you know, everybody kind of seems to have, like, their own little deal. When they're at home, they get a cut of fish, they want to cut it up and make poke. Right. What's what's different about your guys' style? That was So that was one of the things, when you're saying, like, starting the business, I had an affinity for poke, for sure. And it was something that I knew how to do, and I will make poke for people when they come home or come over to our house. Mm -hmm. And then I could never, ever repeat the... Same re recipe, my wife always told me. So eventually, um, it was that, and also I really like combining different flavors. I mm -hmm. like er authentic poke too, you know, Hawaiian salt, inamona, but I really like combining different flavors. And then, um, yeah, the, the poke is made fresh, just like how we make it at home. Yeah. So I, I felt like Hawaii's missing that. You know, we should make poke like how we make it at home for our family. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of times you think the poke is already pre-made. I want to make it like home style mm, with mm. fresh fish, fresh ingredients, and I want to incorporate Hawaii's diverse culture. You're killing me with the yuzu wasabi, by the way. Yeah, the oh, I should have bought that. Let me, too, yeah. let me ask your boss this real yeah. quick. Um, can you tell me the challenges of being a family-run business? Mm. Challenges. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Because, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure being, you know, being together is one thing, but having a business together is a whole other thing. You know, um, it's... I don't feel like there's any challenges because we've been working together for a long time. And then I think it's more like a blessing working with him because he's so easy to work with and, like, <laughs> very easy. And he makes the workplace so easy and comfortable. Like, whenever I need things, he will just be there to do it. I can just look at him. He know what I need. You know, he brings it up. And, and That's actually really cool that you say that because most husbands are like, yes, babe. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's a yes so man. Yeah. He's like at, at home too, so. Right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, you no know, challenges at all. Nothing. Though. And especially <laughs> at our workplace, you know, being at the shack together and working together, it's, it's, it's beautiful for me and for us. And I just feel that it's easy, easy to work with with him, you yeah. know. You said you started during the pandemic. We did. Yeah. It was well, like a jump start during the pandemic just because I was laid off from the hotel, Embassy Suites Hotel in Waikiki. So it was more of a push Shout out us. to Embassy Suites real quick. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Those, those shout out. <laughs> no, but they've been so supportive too. Like all my coworkers, even my managers, they came down to the shack and support me at the shack and mm -hmm. stuff. So it was really nice too. So where are you guys located? Kuhuku Sugar Mill. So there's like a, I guess there's a cluster of food trucks. One of the more well-known ones would be like Mike's Huli Chicken. Um, and then there's the famous Kuhuku Shrimp. But it's, there's Giovanni's food truck cluster, which is a little bit more down the way. Okay. But then if you like look across the school towards like the first wine bank, in Kuku, cool, cool. you're gonna see a cluster of food trucks rolled side. You right guys were cluster. on a Netflix show. Right. We're seeing yeah. some of that right now. What was that like? That was a good experience. And that happened, everything happened real fast for us. So that happened our first year. And then it was just, our first year was just hitting, getting hit with all kinds of different fun media and all this. It was just, it was really, a, I don't know any other way to say it, but it was, a, it was a really nice first year. It was a blessing. And now your best experience right here on Living 808. Yeah, right. Thank you guys for being here. You're going to stick around, yes? Okay, because we're going to bring Brooke in here after this quick break. We're making Poke Bowls with Rise Poke Shack. Perfect for the weekend. 
Say hi to their kids and Auntie Brooke. Where are you guys? Ah, oh, shocks. Where are you guys? Uh, we'll have that coming up next. We'll make them shocking here next on the daily.